Hey, this is Teresa Williamson. We're on location with Jet Set Extra, and we're here with the nine-time world champion kite surfer, Kristen Buza, who has come all the way from Australia, but has called Germany home. <laughs> so welcome to the British Virgin Islands. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to be here. Tell me about um, the competition that you're going to be performing in this week. Well, so in the BBI Kite Jam, there's a, a lot of different competition disciplines. We have some um, crossing around the island. We have some downwind competition. We also have some freestyle where we are going to do big tricks and jump really big. Wow. So you can all go, wow. Whoa. So how, what's the highest you've ever been? Oh, that's really hard to tell. Um, probably about 10 meters. But wow. it really depends on how much wind you have. And right. So what is the biggest thing that you learned about yourself when you started to kiteboard? Who? I guess uh, self-discipline probably because um, in kiteboarding, you don't really have a trainer so if you start competing you just really have to get all your motivation yourself and you gotta keep it going you know you can't just go oh, no I don't really want to train today I don't want to go want to go kite you kind of always have to keep it up and it's not always easy but um, I, I think I've definitely learned that <laughs> and did you have a hero coming into the sport because it seems to me that this is a pretty new sport so who did you look up to was it somebody in the kiteboarding industry or was it somebody outside the kiteboarding industry no, it definitely was somebody in the kiteboarding industry. And back then when I started competing, there was this girl from New Zealand. Her name is Cindy Mosey, and she was my big idol, and she was leading all the girls' competitions. And then I, I ended up actually competing together with her. And, and beat her. Uh, well, yes, <laughs> at one point. <laughs> but she was leading the tour for a long time, and uh, yeah, she still is a really good friend of mine and is an awesome person. So she's still somebody that I look up to. Now, if I wanted to start kiteboarding, which I have never done, I'm really excited to try it this week. I'm going to try it. What is the first thing, what's the one piece of advice that you can give somebody like me who's a novice, has never been on the water with a kite before? Well, I'm really happy you are here because you are automatically going to do that. You will have an instructor with you. But this is really the key point if you want to learn how to kiteboard. You have to have an instructor. Because if you don't do it right, and if you don't really know what to do, then the sport can be dangerous, right. and we don't want anything to happen. So get an instructor and learn your lesson, and then you're off to go. <laughs> okay, so you heard it here first, you guys. you got to be uh, willing, committed to the sport, and get yourself an instructor before you get started. Kristen, thank you so much for your time, and we'll see you online at jetsetextra.com. See you there.